Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. For today, we will continue our lesson on mathematics year 4. Our topic today is multiplication of money. You can refer into your textbook on page 112 and 113. So now, let's go to our first example. So now let's look on example number 1A. By looking at the picture, you can see that each of pupils get one check. So let's read the sentence. Each of us receive a financial aid of 2,800 ringgit. That's mean, maksudnya setiap murid ini mendapat bantuan keuangan setiap orang sebanyak 2,800 ringgit. So the question A, what is the total amount of financial aid received by the five pupils above? Okay, berapakah bilangan ataupun berapakah jumlah bantuan keuangan bagi kelima-lima murid di atas? So, you, we can solve this problem by using method 1 which is standard method. So, the mathematics sentence is 5 times 2,800 ringgit. Then, we write the question in standard method like this. So, we start to multiply 0 times 5 equals 0. 0 times 5 equal 0. 8 times 5 equal 40. 2 times 5 equal 10. 10 plus 4 equal 14. So, you get the final answer 14,000 ringgit. We can use another method which is method 2. Partitioning, iaitu kita menggunakan method yang kedua, iaitu secara cerakin nombor. Okay, so you know that 2,800 ringgit, when you do partitioning, it is actually 2,000 ringgit plus 800 ringgit. So, we multiply 2,000 with 5 and so 8,800 also multiply by 5. So, 2,000 multiply by 5, you get 10,000 ringgit and 800 multiply by 5, you get 4,000 ringgit. And then, lastly, you need to do addition 10,000 ringgit with 4,000 ringgit so, you will get the same answer which is 14,000 ringgit. So, the total amount of financial aid is 14,000 ringgit. Now, let's go to question 1B. 34 pupils receive the same amount of financial aid as above. Calculate the total amount of financial aid. Maksudnya, Jika 34 orang murid menerima jumlah bantuan keuangan yang sama jumlahnya, berapakah jumlah kesemua bantuan keuangan? Jadi, kita akan mencari untuk 34 orang murid. So, the mathematics sentence is 34 times 2,800 ringgit. So, we try to solve this with method 1 which is standard method. We write the question in standard method like this and then we multiply with 4. That means all digit 2,800 ringgit will multiply with 4. Setiap digit 2,800 ringgit akan darab dengan 4 dahulu. Alright. 0 times 4 equals 0. 0 times 4 equals 0. 8 Time 4 equal 32. 2 times 4 equal 8. 8 plus 3 equal 11. And then, we multiply by 3. That's mean all digit in 2,800 ringgit will multiply by 3. But before you multiply by 3, you need to write 0 first in this area. And then we start to multiply. 0 times 3 equals 0. 
zero times three equal zero. Eight times three equal twenty-four. Two times three equal six. Six plus two equal eight. And then you underline. And we need to do addition for this both number. Zero plus zero equal zero. Zero plus zero equal zero. Two plus zero equal two. One plus four equal five. One plus eight equal nine. And then don't forget to write ringgit symbol. So you get the final answer ninety five thousand two hundred ringgit. Okay, now we try to do method two, which is lattice method, ataupun kaedah kekisi. So in lattice method, you need to draw a table like this. So you fill in the number in the table, two thousand eight hundred ringgit. You write like this, and then thirty four. You write like this, and then this area, you write multiply symbol. And then we start to multiply all digit in two thousand and eight hundred ringgit by three. So we start with zero. Zero times three equal zero. You need to write the answer in two digit number system. So if you get zero, you need to write zero zero. Okay, jika jawapan sifar kamu tulis dalam bentuk dua digit nombor yaitu sifar sifar. Zero times three equal Zero zero. Eight times three equal twenty four. Two times three equal six. So six you must write by zero six. So we move to digit four. Multiply all digit here with four. Zero times four equal zero. Zero times four equal zero zero. Eight times four equal thirty two. Two times four equal eight, so you write zero eight. And then, for this area, you need to do addition. Okay, ikut arah garisan serong ini buat operasi tambah begini. So we start from here, zero. So you get zero. Zero plus zero plus zero, you get zero. Zero plus zero plus zero plus two, you get two. Yes, zero. Plus four plus three plus eight, you get fifteen. So fifteen, you write one here. Regroup to another place value. Okay, jika jawapannya melebihi sepuluh, kamu kena letakkan digit itu di rumah di sebelahnya. And then one plus two plus six plus zero, you get nine. And then zero is zero. And then you write the answer from this side into this side. So ninety-five thousand two hundred ringgit, like this. So the total amount of financial aid is ninety-five thousand two hundred ringgit. Now let's move to example number two. By looking into this picture, so you can see this exercise bike price is five thousand ninety-five ringgit and thirty cent. The question is, what is the total cost for ten exercise bikes? Berapakah jumlah kos untuk sepuluh alat ini? So, the mathematics sentence will be ten times five thousand ninety-five ringgit and thirty cent. So method one, you can solve this by using standard method. So you write in standard method like this. Then, so as you can see here, if your question have digit zero at the end of the number, so you can simply write the zero like this. Maksudnya jika soalan kamu mempunyai digit zero. Di penghujung nombor seperti ini, okay, ada zero, ada kosong, ada ataupun ada sifar di penghujung nombor ini. Begitu juga dengan sepuluh, ada sifar di penghujung nombor. Jadi terdapat dua sifar. Jadi kamu boleh menyalin sifar ini sebegini. 
Okay, and then you write the decimal point. Make sure the decimal point is in the straight line. And then you multiply 1 with 3. Equal 3. 1 times 5. Equal 5. 1 times 9. Equal 9. 1 times 0. Equal 0. 1 times 5. Equal 5. And write RM symbol. So the final answer is 50,953 ringgit. You can also use method 2 which is shifting the decimal point iaitu mengalihkan titik perpuluhan. Kerana apa? Kerana jika kamu darab dengan 10 jadi kamu boleh mengalihkan titik perpuluhan pada bahagian nombor ini. So I will show you how to do that. You write the question in mathematic sentence like this and then you can see that 10 here 10 has 1 0 right okay 10 ada satu sifar kan di sini okay so you can shift the point one place to the right if multiply by 10 jadi alihkan titik perpuluhan satu tempat ke kanan okay kerana 10 ada satu sifar jadi alihkan satu titik perpuluhan ke kanan sebegini Okay, lihat. Okay, like that. So, you write the final answer. The final answer is 50,953 ringgit. So, the total cost for 10 exercise bikes is 50,953 ringgit. Let's look at example number 3. The question is 19 times 864 ringgit and 70 cent. So, we solve this question by using standard method. So, you write the question like this and then we start to multiply all digit on the top with 9. Kamu darab semua digit di bahagian atas ini dengan digit 9. 0 time 9 equal 0 7 time 9 equal 63 4 time 9 equal 36 36 plus 6 equal 42 6 time 9 equal 54 54 plus 4 equal 58 8 time 9 equal 72 72 plus 5 equal 77 and then, we multiply all digit on the top with 1. But before that, you need to write 0 here. Okay, after that, we start to multiply 0 with 1. 0 times 1 equal 0. 7 times 1 equal 7. 4 times 1 equal 4. 6 times 1 equal 6. 8 times 1 equal 8. And then you write the addition symbol and underline then you do addition 0 plus 0 equal 0 3 plus 0 equal 3 and then write the decimal point in the straight line here and then 2 plus 7 equal 9 8 plus 4 equal 12 7 plus 6 equal 13 plus 1 equal 14 7 plus 8 equal 15 plus 1 equal 16 and then don't forget to write RM symbol so the answer is 16,429 ringgit and 30 sen I hope this explanation can help you to understand how to multiply money See you again in another lesson. Good luck and bye-bye.